Hello, welcome to the Millionaire Woman Show, where we'll be discussing leadership, business, and human potential, inspiring you to live rich from the inside out. Unlock your creativity, stretch out of your comfort zone, break through your barriers, take inspired action, and achieve epic results. Now, here's your host, two-time best-selling author, speaker, and certified executive coach, Deborah Kosowski. Well, hello there, everyone. It's Deborah Kosowski, and we are here for a Millionaire Woman Show. And today's topic is simplify your leadership challenges. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. That quote is by Martin Luther King Jr. It tells you a lot about a person, where they stand in the face of challenges. And in today's world, I find that everything's so much more complicated than sometimes I think it needs to be. As you move through different levels of leadership, you learn that new challenges require different approaches and different skill sets. What worked previously may not work again. Challenges appear to be more complex in nature. As a leader, you must be able to think on your feet and also be proactive in anticipating situations to minimize how complex they can get. Most processes and systems are quite simple, but when you add the mix of people to things, they start to get complicated. Today, you could be working with individuals of three or more generations, each communicating and making decisions differently. Although they have different needs, some characteristics do not change. Each generation has core values that guide them. They want to be respected for who they are, their ideas, and what they bring to the table. And they also want to be heard and receive feedback about their performance. Most people communicate the way they want to be communicated to. So if you receive a text from someone, they would appreciate a text. And if you left a voicemail, you best call rather than respond by email. Keep it simple. Respond in the same mode of communication that they sent the message in. But whenever you're unsure, pick up the phone and call or arrange for a face-to-face -face meeting. How you respond to leadership challenges also depends on what you know and the experience you have grown within that organizational culture. These experiences have helped you develop your emotional intelligence or what some people refer to as the soft skills or common sense. Common sense does not seem to appear um, as common as we'd like it. And there is nothing soft about those soft skills. Soft skills tend to be hard to master and they're difficult to learn. Learning requires that people become self-reflective and self-aware of their own behaviors and how they communicate with others. Developing soft skills can bring about the best in people. With self-awareness, there's accountability and increased responsibility for one's actions. When hiring for the right fit, you're not only looking for technical skills, but you're also looking for those intangibles, the soft skills that are often reflected in a person's disposition, their attitude, and their personality. You don't want to hire someone who lacks awareness and erodes trust by being passive aggressive or gossips. You want to know um, that you can trust their word as well as their work ethic and getting things done, done well, and that they value the people that they work with. Trust is the foundation of everything. And without it, departments and organizations can crumble. You need to be able to communicate your vision as a leader for the organization. What does success look like when it's achieved? To gain buy-in, people need to be invested in the vision. And you can communicate it clearly in a concise way, and that's when you can start planning and strategizing of how to make that vision a reality. Ultimately, how you perceive challenges 
that you face as a leader and how your people perceive those challenges are key. They watch you, pay attention. Your perception drives the willingness to take action and the decisions that you make. You need to be able to weigh the options based on how you perceive the situation and how it can impact your decision. Be careful as your perceptions are influenced by your emotions. And don't forget to review the facts before acting impulsively. You don't want to be the bull in the china shop, disregarding everyone's opinions and um, confidence in you as a leader. You simplify your leadership challenges by stepping out of your comfort zone, exposing yourself to new situations, as many as you can, so that you can develop and hone your skills. Boost your emotional intelligence. This is going to help you unravel the complexity of some of the leadership challenges that you face. Remember, keep it simple. So many people think that when you have a challenge, it's so complex, and then they add in the emotions, and then it's like an explosion's going to happen. What we need you to start doing is really thinking about things in a simplistic way. It took some time to get to a certain spot. It's going to take a little bit of time to figure it out but you will figure it out. Some of the challenges can relate to generation gaps. Some of it is communication, but ultimately as a leader, when you can communicate your vision and you can express the why behind the vision, your people will want to buy in and be a part of that vision because they're watching you, that you're leading by example, and they are watching to see how you respond to those challenges. The more confident you are, the more articulate you are in communicating that vision, the more they're going to want to be a part of that. So it all starts with you. You can simplify your challenges in how you approach them and how you manage the perspective or perception of what that challenge is. If you have it, we got this attitude, you are going to ensure that you get this. But if you have any self-doubt and you're hesitating, People can pick up on that. They sense it and they start to lose trust and faith in you because they figure that you haven't figured out how to obtain it. Tap into your people and utilize and leverage their skills so that you can push through any challenges along your way. Anticipation is key. Well, I want to thank you for joining me on the Millionaire Woman Show. We would love for you to go over to iTunes, write us a review, give us a five-star high five. We would love to hear from you. Go over to my website at www.debrakazowski.com. Download your free ebook of the 21 Habits High Achievers Kick so that you can achieve the success that you desire. As Muhammad Gandhi said, be the change you wish to see in the world. And my wish for you, as always, is to go out and make today great. Take care, everyone. We'll see you on the next Millionaire Woman Show.